It's that season once again. Fat guy in hoodie time. You know, I'm pretty surprised. Of all the nerf Fortnite blasters we've got our hands on, you know, most of the blasters from Fortnite being based directly off some kind of real firearm. This is the one that looks the most like what it is supposed to look like. It doesn't look like it was ran over by a truck. It doesn't look like somebody sat on it. It actually looks kind of like an MP5 hit with the ugly stick a little bit. I'm sure a lot of people are gonna be excited for this one just to paint it. I, seriously, like I wouldn't even wanna take this outside. It looks like a firearm. The magazine's the only thing that makes it not look like a firearm. Now, seriously, I know we've rolled the intro at this point, but it seriously looks like an MP5. Or I'm sure somebody's gonna correct me in the comment section. They always do. It looks like an MP5. I have been looking forward to you. Hey, it all comes out in nice sheet. Although I hate it when they like tape the cardboard because that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> I think this was a $40 blaster. It's a, uh, I've had it for a couple of weeks and I don't know why I haven't done the video on it. I guess I've been saving it for a special occasion. Why do I like that? I have a feeling I know exactly what this is and it's one of those Fortnite SPL pistol things or whatever, just with a detachable magazine on it. But for some reason, I really like it so far. Oh God, that means the performance is gonna be awful and it won't have much mod potential. Removable stock, priming slide, removable barrel, removable 10 dart clip. Zesty wrap. And it comes with 10 elite darts. It looks like it has the selector switch on the side of it. Of course, that is fake. It is a Springer. That's all we get with the SMG Zesty. Other than the fact it claims to be four in one, the same way the Retaliator is. I Maybe it's like a Retaliator hybrid, and I kind of hope it is, because that means it have massive mod potential. You know, it could be less comfy. That's, that's, that's honestly pretty good right there. That's not too bad. Even the mag release feels okay. It really just needs to thin out of the sides of the grip instead of expanding like it does. That would feel better. But yeah, no, I, I can feel people liking that grip. Seriously, if you take the Fortnite off that, this is one of the best looking blasters Nerf has made in terms of looking tactical. The slide, jam door, no tactical rails. Ooh, that's, that's something different. Okay, well, the magazine looks awful, but it does, it is unique in the fact that it has that yellow band on it. This may be the same suppressor that comes with the Nerf uh, SPL, although I don't think it is. That's the only part where the lines don't match up with the rest of the blaster. And the stock, it is a Nerf compatible stock. The problem is I don't see this stock working on anything other than this blaster because of that kind of rounded thing. I mean, it should technically work with anything. I mean, it's like a $40 blaster, but this looks sweet and it feels really good. I'm kind of a fan of SMGs. This, this feels pretty wonderful. Not perfect, but pretty wonderful. Got a jam clearing lever right there. The, the front sight doesn't move or anything like that. And then it's got like a rear post. It doesn't make any sense for actually looking at stuff. To go bag of darts. This one's actually like taped together which is a little bit different. And we get uh, some Sprite darts by the looks of it. I'm gonna have to take a look at this thing. I, I really kind of like it right now. I, I kind of wish it hit a little bit harder, obviously, but if I could get one of these hitting like 130, I would totally rock it because this feels good. Well, I mean, that's about what you'd expect. The priming grip is only slightly too small. It honestly doesn't feel bad at all. Like I'm not a fan of Fortnite. You probably know that. I played the like closed beta and that was it. And I really like this thing. It's like that goofy enough aesthetic. Like I wish all of the Fortnite where they, they try to mess it up to not look like the real firearm, but still mimic the real firearm. I wish they all kind of looked like this one because this looks really good in my opinion. Any range claims? No range claims. It does, however, advertise. It does, however, advertise the Fortnite six shooter and the Mega Pump SG. I do have a Mega Pump SG. I don't want to open it. I've had it for probably months now. Yeah, since like February. So, uh, if you want me to do a video on that, if this video can get to something stupid like 3,000 likes, I'll do a video on the Mega Fortnite Pump SG. Cause I, uh, I have words about the Mega Fortnite Pump SG.
I, I've tried to forget that thing exists. Now let's go ruin whatever goodwill this thing has established by putting it over the chronograph. Alrighty. The 10 included elite darts. Here we go. 62. 67. 62 again. 58. I'm gonna take this barrel off because it's a little difficult to aim. That was 69. 63. And 69 again. 71. 66. And 69 once more. I mean, what you'd expect from a nerf offering, unfortunately, but I mean, it could be worse. It could be so much worse. All right, SMG Zesty. We'll do five shots flat and five shots angled, starting with the flat shots. Huh, it's really a little bit better than I thought it'd be. Of course, the uh, elite darts are garbage. Uh -huh. Let's just go on to angled shots then. There we go, clearing 50 feet. Sometimes. Oh boy. Oh geez. Hey, one straight down the center shot like the blaster was intended to do. Uh, let's try this with a slightly better dart. Adventure Force Waffles. These are not brand new. These are used and have been kicking around in my pocket for the last 15 minutes. So, flat shot. Oh, flat shot. That wasn't good. Wow. How did you just fire two of them? Okay, well, let's just go on to angled shots then. Yeah, it's a heavier dart. You get uh, way better consistent accuracy, but I also feel like this blaster does not like those waffle tips at all, um, which kind of sucks. Yeah, it, there we go. Why is it always the last shot that seems to be fine? Yeah, it, it doesn't seem like it likes those waffle tips at all, but I still like this blaster. It just feels and looks so good. Has slam fire too. Would have been a nice thing to put on the box, Hasbro. I'm actually astounded by the lack of Picatinny rail. I'm actually astounded by the lack of any end strike rail on this blaster, despite the fact that it comes with a barrel and a stock. Overall, I'm really excited for this blaster just because look how cool it looks and it feels really comfortable in the hand. I mean, you can technically use the stock. It's obviously not great, but as like a wrist brace kind of thing, absolutely dig it. Performance is what you'd expect for Nerf Fortnite stuff, sub 70 FPS, usually around 60 to 70 FPS. That's what you'd expect. And of course the performance is not great. Does it have any mod potential? Maybe, maybe not. That's kind of the biggest problem with it. And at $40, it's a little bit expensive, even though it does come with a nice barrel and a nice stock, in my opinion. And I'll tell you what the real ball kicker is about this blaster is that even if you bought it because you really liked these attachments and stuff like that, they honestly wouldn't work for like any other blaster unless they come out with another zesty wrapped blaster that had the same attachment points on it which they may, but then you're also dealing with the fact that this probably won't fit on anything quite right. So it's kind of pointless. I'm starting to feel the gripe about Nerf Fortnite stuff because now that they're doing all these wraps, it's kind of stupid when the only way you can get that blaster is in some exotic wrap and not some standardized color scheme they already have for Nerf Fortnite. But seriously, if it was like 10, $15 cheaper, if you see this for 25 bucks, I highly recommend picking one up. It's super fun. But anything above that, you're really buying it for the premium, especially when you know the performance isn't gonna be that good. If any kind of amazing mod comes out for this thing, maybe we can rationalize that price, but uh, I don't know, because uh, for all I know, every single spring in this thing is a piece of plastic that's gonna break eventually. I have no clue. Kind of like the best world 
between a Retaliator and that Fortnite SPL. Because I'm assuming, because this is a nice tight package right here, and it's a lot of fun. I could ramble about that. I had fun with it. I think that's probably the most important thing. And of course, if you wanna pick one up, I will have a link down in the description where when you do pick one up, it actually gives me a kickback. It helps the channel, doesn't cost you anything. And that's what I use to afford things like this in the future. But that's all I've got for it. What do you think about the Nerf Fortnite Zesty SMG? Do you actually think it might be worth picking up? Did you already pick one up? Let me know down in that comment section because I actually read all my comments. And hey, if you made it all the way this far into the video, chances are you already like what we do. So please hit like, get subscribed, ring the bell, all that algorithmic nonsense that helps the channel grow and thus helps the hobby grow. I'm Walcom7. Thank you very much for watching this video. And of course, I hope to see you in an entirely different one. You gotta up, up, up.